Greetings programs, Atari here, you there. And this is an Adafruit 1.8 inch TFT LCD. And as part of Project Zybernaut, I'm going to be um, installing it as sort of a, uh, well, let's put it in the right way, uh, like an eyepiece type display. So it kind of sits like right here and you can kind of see what's going on here on the screen. Uh, and I've got to uh, connect this over to a Raspberry Pi. So this is going to be the main display for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so to get the um, to get the uh, Adafruit display to um, work with the Raspberry Pi, we're going to use um, Notro's uh, FB TFT driver for Linux. And thankfully, uh, since Raspbian and Jesse, I, I think it might be before, maybe it was in Wheezy, but it's definitely in Jesse now. Um, but since Jesse, uh, they have actually, the RPI Foundation has actually added uh, this particular driver to uh, the kernel. So we don't actually have to do any compiling or anything like that. We don't have to build our own custom kernel or anything like that like we used to have to do. So Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. So this display is um, it is officially supported by the driver. So all we really got to do here is go to the GitHub and grab the uh, pinout for this driver. So it is a uh, it is a spy interface, a, a serial peripheral interface, uh, SPI. Uh, I know spy interface is redundant, but whatever, it just sounds better. Um, so we're going to have, we've got a handful of pins here. We've got light, uh, miso, mossy, clock, um, uh, TFT, CS, that's chip select, um, data command, uh, reset, uh, VCC, and ground. Okay, and then for the Raspberry Pi, it's, all we gotta do is just get the pins for this. We're not using uh, MISO. Um, uh, Mossy goes to Mossy on the, I'll have to look it up on the uh, pinout sheet. Uh, Mossy, Mossy, um, clock goes to clock. Um, TFTCS goes to CE zero um, data command goes to gpio 24 reset goes to gpio 25 uh, vcc goes to 3.3 volt because this is a 3.3 volt screen and ground goes to ground so that's our pinout let's uh, coordinate this with the uh, the pinout uh, diagram on element14.com and we'll get this thing wired up. So here on the Pi, uh, first thing I gotta do is uh, recipe config. Uh, I need to go in and I need to uh, turn on the spy interface. See, even Raspberry Pi says spy interface, okay? So it's not just me, all right? Yes, the I stands for interface. Yes, it's redundant. No, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's how things have been around here. That's okay. Okay, so <laughs> next thing I got to do, uh, I need to, okay, and after I have uh, enabled spy, I do need to, um, advanced options, oh, there it is, overscan, didn't see it, okay, uh, and I want to disable the overscan, all right, so that, because that will have issues, okay, now we're done in there. And uh, apparently, I need to reboot. So let's reboot. Scoop doop boop 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 boop
Okay, so back into the Pi, we've rebooted now. So now I need to edit a uh, configuration file. So it's etc. modules. Okay. And then I need to add spy bcm eight, uh, no, two, eight, three, five. That'll turn spy on, and then F B T F T underscore device. So what that's going to do is it's going to tell it to load the F B T F T device module that we're going to tell it to uh, tell it to uh, fix here in just a moment. All right, so that's that. Uh, that do, do, do. Okay, now we need to edit sudo nano slash etc slash mod probe dot d slash fbtft dot conf. So this is the configuration file for fbtft. And what we're going to do is we are going to tell it to use fbtft name equals adafruit18, because that's the module name in, within the driver. All right, so we got that. And I want to uh, rotate equals one. I want to rotate it uh, 90 degrees so that it actually um, will be in landscape position versus portrait position. So that's that. Okay. Boop, boop. Reboot. Oh yeah, look at that. It's turned on. It's turned on. Okay, so now we've got the driver actually set up. Now what I've got to do is install a, a frame buffer application. So what it's going to do is it's going to copy the graphics that are going out from the Pi to the HDMI going out to here. Uh, it's going to copy those over the spy interface over to our little screen. So we'll basically have a little, like a little mirrored screen, which would be nice. Uh, because I'll be able to plug in an HDMI cable and you'll be able to see what's going on on the screen um, at the same time that I see it on my little eyepiece, so it'll be uh, be nice. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to use... Uh, uh, Tessanicorn has written a uh, Raspberry Pi frame buffer copy application. So it's over here on GitHub. We're going to... Um, we got to get CMake first, so we just need to sudo apt get install cmake okay so that's installed now we get cl clone https github.com slash tasanacorn slash rpi hyphen fbcp. Okay, we clone that. And then go to our uh, directory. Um, make directory build. And then CMake into that directory. Uh-oh. There. I just did it from that directory. I don't need that build directory. Who needs that? Okay. Build files are written. And then make. And then we're going to do sudo install install fbcp user local bin fbcp done okay one last thing we got to do because we want this to run on boot is sudo nano uh, 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 etc 
rc.local. I'm just gonna add this to our boot list. Okay, there, there. All right, now, All right, screen comes on, lights up. <laughs> there it is. Come on, come on. Give me that thing again. Yes! <laughs> there it is. Heck yeah. <laughs> I am in Winsible. <laughs> Fantastic. So there it is. Uh, that is uh, Raspbian running on a uh, 1.8 inch screen. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, in the meantime, social media over here, subscribe down here. Up here is the rest of the playlist. Watch this whole process start to finish. Down here is the newsletter. Sign up for that. Get updated on all the cool things happening here around the shop. My name is Atari, and until next time, tally ho, y'all.